Hey everyone, it's Vosk of the Voscoin YouTube channel, and today I'm gonna to be explaining what a paper wallet is, how to use it, and most importantly, how to create it. In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to create a Bitcoin paper wallet, Ethereum paper wallet, which includes all the ERC20 tokens, bunch of other coins that you can also create on wallet walletgenerator.net as well as a Zencash paper wallet but first off what is a paper wallet and why would you create one anyway so a paper wallet is the simplest and cheapest form of cold storage cold storage means it's not sitting on a computer it's not always accessible it's kind of off the grid and what I mean by that is it's actually explained very simply and basic here on the zenpaperwallet.com which is a verified project funded by the Zencash team. A paper wallet is a piece of paper containing a public address and a private key. So it's gonna have your public key, which is what you're gonna send your Zencash to if you wanna store it on this paper wallet, and your private key, which is what you're gonna to need to import it later on in order to actually utilize that Zencash. When you create a paper wallet, no matter what the coin is, your point is that you basically want it off your computer, which makes it just a little bit more safe. And what you're gonna do is basically turn that paper wallet in by redeeming that private key into any uh, wallet platform in order to redeem those tokens that you've had off the grid to make them usable whenever you'd like to do that. So if you're saying, I'm going long on Ethereum, you create an Ethereum paper wallet, you would put it in there and you'd put it in a safe in a lock box, a fireproof box, you know, under your pillow, wherever you wanna put it, and keep it there, keep it safe, and one day you're gonna to wanna to redeem it. So first off, let's start with Bitcoin. And there's also all these other coins that are also supported on here. You can just click them and make that happen. But we're just gonna click skip right here. We're gonna to go to paper wallet, randomly generate, and there it is. Here is our paper wallet for Bitcoin. It's just that simple. I would click print and it would print off this page for me and I could fold it and get you know basically this little paper wallet. It's exactly what it sounds like. If we wanna to go to myetherwallet.com, we'd come here, we'd create a password. Make sure you remember the password. Uh, you can save this, it's important to save. It cannot be recovered if you lose it. Um, so we're gonna save that, it thinks we saved it, but this is just a test for the Voxcoin YouTube, I understand. And right here you can print a paper wallet. So print paper wallet. This is what the Ethereum paper wallet looks like. If you want to send your Ethereum here or your ERC20 Ethereum tokens, you would send them to this public key, okay? And when you want to redeem these tokens, you would input your private key or log into this My Ether wallet, which is going to be synced up in order to actually send it because you're going to need to be connected to the internet, to the blockchain in order to actually utilize all your cryptocurrency tokens. However, by using a paper wallet, you're disconnecting them so they're safer as opposed to leaving them sitting in a software wallet like Exodus. Granted, Exodus is a good secure wallet, but that's a whole other story, and we've got a review on their wallet on the actual Boscoin YouTube channel. And finally, I'll show you with Zencash. It's pretty much the exact same procedure. If we come over here, we're gonna have to do all this to randomly generate our wallet. This is generated client side. What that means is it didn't come from their server and then sent to us to be potentially jeopardized in that period. What happens is client side generated this, so this whole wallet has been generated just right here for us. So we're gonna generate that new wallet. Here is our paper wallet. Perfect, do we wanna print it? Yeah, that's the whole point of a paper wallet. If it never makes it to paper, well, it's not exactly a paper wallet. So you can see right here, we've got a public key and we've got a private key. We've got a public key and we've got a private key. So here's a private key. This is gonna be a great example. We're gonna fast forward. We sent some Zen Cash here. Fast forward a year, Zencash boomed. We're like, yes, finally, finally, I'm gonna buy my Lambo. So we wanna cash it in. So how do we do that? Well, here's the Arizon wallet. I have a whole tutorial on it on the Boscoin YouTube channel. If you just come over here and search Arizon, and I have all kinds of other videos on here, you'll get to where you need to go. So let's go down to the Arizon wallet. When it comes time where you actually want to take that paper wallet and get it back into the cryptocurrency ecosystem, you're gonna simply go to whatever wallet you wanna use and you're gonna import that private key. For example, on the Arizona wallet, we have this tool right here to import the private key and you're just gonna import that text file with other popular wallets such as the Neon wallet. If you wanted to take that paper wallet and import it back into the blockchain, you would just click login using a private key and you would put that private key in and you'd be able to log right in. So again, every cryptocurrency is gonna be the same when it comes to a paper wallet. You create that paper wallet, you 
print it off, you get it off the grid, you can send as much crypto of that actual specific currency into that wallet. And when it comes time that you actually want to, you know, break open that paper wallet, get it back in, use it, sell it, whatever, trade it, then that's when you're gonna import that private key into the relevant wallet and boom, you're off to the races. So a paper wallet's as complicated as you wanna make it, but it's a pretty simple thing. And when I first got into crypto, I was a little bit overwhelmed by the concept of a paper wallet. And I was honestly really afraid of like, no, 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 like I need a program. Like if I don't have a program I can trust, <laughs> you know, I might lose all my crypto and my life will be ruined. However, once you just understand the blockchain a little bit better, again, you know, I'm no guru here, but I, I do spend a lot of time researching. And once you just understand the blockchain, that the blockchain is true and you know everything is a true ledger on there and you can follow these transactions and your crypto is on the blockchain. It's not in these wallets. Your, your wallets are accessing the blockchain with that private key being able to unlock your crypto on the blockchain. So nothing is more important in cryptocurrency than your private keys. So with that said, always make sure to keep your private keys safe and understand that a paper wallet is oftentimes more safe than other wallet options. And I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please let me, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's something I left out that you think people should know about paper wallets, what your opinion on paper wallets are, or if you're excited for our live stream that's going to be on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's March 4th. <laughs> <laughs> we just hit 50k which is insane next stop 100k we got some fun stuff planned for the live stream to announce and give away and all that so i'll see you all there thanks for watching